think we could have a better fixture than this. It's a tremendously hard game for us. If we get anything out of it, it'll be a bonus for us because they are a great side. They are a great footballing team. And it's a great game for the players to come into after the disappointment of playing Wolves and getting beat by them in the FA Cup. And Liverpool, of course, knocked you out of the League Cup here. What did you learn from that? Yeah, well, the big thing we learned from that is that you mustn't make mistakes against them. We, uh, we made three mistakes on, on that night, gave three diabolical goals away, and uh, after 20 minutes found ourselves three down, and really you can't give a bad team three goals start, let alone Liverpool, who are a great side, and uh, we had no chance, we gave ourselves no chance, so we've got to cut down our mistakes as much as possible. What about your choice of team today? Well, uh, I've put Martin Peters in, and he's only 75% uh, fit. Tony Powell is out, and I brought David Jones in in his place. Uh, hopefully, Kevin Reeves is going to be all right because he's had a hamstring. Uh, so our side is a little bit sort of below par because, uh, because of the injuries and because of having to make a few changes, but uh, I think we'll be all right. And Liverpool are below par as well. They're without David Johnson, who was injured in midweek, and they're without Graham Souness, who's now suspended. What effect will that have? Well, I think Fairclough and Lee, who come in, I don't think that undermines the, the team too much, but I think that they will have a few little problems in s just settling down and settling in again, because in fairness, they have had a tremendous amount of good fortune, Liverpool, in being able to name the same side week in and week out. And this is a great, great advantage. And really, Liverpool don't need those sort of advantages, but they've had that, uh, the good fortune to be able to name the teams uh, the same team week in and week out, and hopefully that will unsettle them just a little bit today. If it does, we might just catch them on a good day. So it's Liverpool who get the game underway. Norwich City's 13th home game of the season, and their unbeaten home record, presumably under the most serious threat. Jimmy Case, it's Graham Patton, and Greg Downs. Pitch is a bit soft. It's Kevin Bond. Chase for Fashionu. We've got a good atmosphere, and it could well be the biggest crowd here at Carrow Road this season. And an early corner to this spirit even higher. Justin Fashionu taking a position at the far edge of the six yard box from the kicker. It's going to be Graham Patton who will take it. Kevin Bond on the near post. Brown just on the line in front of Clements. Nothing like the height on the corner, and it was Ray Kennedy who put it away. Ray Kennedy this afternoon making his 200th league appearance for Liverpool. Dermot, the player on the near post. Got the back at that time, there's Peters! So easy! And Ray Clements beaten before he had a chance to touch the ball. Martin Peters, a really very, very simple header from about two yards out. The second corner produced the flick on the near post, and when it came across, the ball was absolute meat and drink for Martin Peters to put past Clements. Ryan, Fashionu, McDermott. Fair clap wide to the right, that's nice into Sammy Lee. He returns the compliment well, chance here for Fairclough, and it's in! And the two players brought into the side this afternoon for Liverpool combined to get the equaliser. David Fairclough, the scorer. And it was Sammy Lee who fed him. Pass and return, Fairclough to Lee, Lee back to Fairclough, who picked his point and put it wide of the goalkeeper, who got a touch but couldn't keep it up. Referee saying, get on with the game, although Greg Downs is injured, still in the area. Two goals inside four minutes. And Reeves not too far away from a possibility of a third. Greg Downs, the knock is on the ankle, but uh, it's wearing off, it would seem. Peters is well out from the area. Brown, who takes the position on the line, but Peters, where he was before, will move in. Reeves and Bond for the back flick. There goes Peters, comes straight to him. Well, that's two different positions that he met the header, and on neither occasion was he picked up. Sandley again. Here's Darkley. 
Grealish, Keelan committed. Downs covering the middle. Here's Case. Oh! And Ray Kennedy only needed the mildest of touches to turn it in, but he couldn't find it. Jimmy Case is shot. And Keelan really caught out of his ground. But got away with it. Mendham really catching Ray Kennedy. He saw the gap too beautifully. So a lovely dummy. And Fairclough puts it in. Marvellous goal from David Fairclough. Second goal of the match, his second league goal of the season. But this is the man who deserves the greater part of the credit. His eyes summing up what he feels about it as he's now joined by the scorer. A really lovely run. And it was using Fairclough by not using him during the course of that run that he sold a superb dummy to the Norwich defence and enabled the room to open up in front of him and finally to set up Fairclough for the goal. season Liverpool won here 4-1 and scored six against Norwich at Anfield and, uh, Ryan shot never looking like putting anything back on the spot now downs Came looking long for a player running behind the defender and they've got a corner out of it clear tactic by Norris to play the ball early against the defence which is often accused of being a bit square and we're looking at it from behind John Ryan again on the line Peters again coming from the back and it was Bond and turned off the line by Lee Bond's flick and Sammy Lee who got it off the line Finding it easy in the air against uh, Kevin Reeves. That's a good ball. Round the bond. Fashionu and Hansen. Mendham. Patton. Reeves! All in the air until it came down to the foot of Reeves. 2 2. men involved in the move and it was looking promising from the moment that Brown started it from a pass out of defence. Final header on falling to Reeves' foot who was able to arc it away from Ray Clements. Well, before today's game the biggest crowd here was for the 3-3 draw with Ipswich on Boxing Day. And the crowd is big, the goals seem to be plenty. again on the run. Doug 
least. Crown looking for offside flag, but he wasn't offside. That's Backlough. And kicked away by Kevin Keelan. Right on the half-time whistle. And a breathless, very, very entertaining first half, which the crowd have obviously enjoyed. Ends with a scoreline of 2-2. Two, two. two goals inside the first four minutes. Two goals for David Fairclough. One of them from a lovely run by Alan Hansen. And the equaliser from Kevin Rees from a good move in the air on the right side by Norwich. In the second half, Norwich City will defend the end where they've built this fine new stand here at Carrow Road. The cost of one and a quarter million pounds contains 20 executive boxes. And when it's completed, it will hold 30,000 people seated and standing and will include a squash court, a sauna and the first licensed pub on an English league ground. So away go Norwich City. Ball with Kevin Bond. Reeves picking up in the air where he left off. Thompson under pressure. Here's Graham Padden. His fashion He needed too many touches to work out a shooting position. Difficult for him. But it wouldn't have counted because there's a flag up on the far side anyway. Fashion That's nice. Used the long legs to good purpose there. And shielded by Reeves. Ryan. Chipped up. Fashion And Peters! No! was spinning across the area. Peter's arriving, as he does so often, as the ball came across from Justin Fashionu and just the wrong side of the post. Neil. That's nicely back by Ray Kennedy to Dalgrish. And damn it, far post. Beckloff taking the same ground. Now coming near and scores! And that's a hat-trick for David Beckloff. Some good running off the ball. And Dalglish had two options open to him. Fairclough and McDermott were for a moment running to the same area. But Fairclough peeled away, took the nearer position from Dalglish's viewpoint and tucked it in, receiving the pass neatly enough to make Liverpool lead by 3-2. to two, And all three goals scored by David Fairclough. His fashion move. Bond this way, number four. Obviously, you realise it was Kevin Bond who made the run, and the ball was all right. And here's Sammy Lee! Good challenge by Greg Downs. Thwarting the axle of the chance of his first goal in senior football. certainly making themselves heard and in confident voice Downs Pat the drink ignored his way Brown has come up Peters. And the free kick for an unnecessarily harsh challenge, it seemed by Neil, although Liverpool obviously thought that Peters dived. The free kick it is, anyway. Peters to take. Fashionu. McGuire couldn't get there, all over the place it was. Downs. Peters. Fashionu, good save. He carried the ball forward as he dived. And he was able to hold it out from Fashionu's header.
dance. Case in his defensive role. Ryan, Fashionu. Oh, oh, what a goal! Oh, that's a magnificent goal! Didn't seem to be the room between Craig Evans' hand and the post. And John Bond still wants to make a defensive point of cover as the crowd applauds. Surely one of the best goals I've seen at Carrow Road this season. Really sweet turn by the tall man. And curling high up just away from Ray Evans' hand and just inside his far right hand post for 3 3. <laughs> on by Fashion Hill Reeves. Important challenge by Alan Kennedy on Maguire. Amazing what a difference a goal can make, but here's Merkler. Killing to face him. Up! And he catches it between his knees. Unbelievable. Well, Berkler has scored all three for Liverpool. And they haven't been enough to win the match for them. But he had the chance then to win it. And couldn't take it. Case. Dalglish in the box in the middle. Here is McDermott. And there's Dalglish! McDermott found by Neil, and the cross only about a yard out, and Kenny Dalglish down on all fours to get the nod in. 4-3 to Liverpool. And Kenny Dalglish, who's complained a bit, hoped a bit, hasn't always got what he thought he should have got, in the end perhaps has got the winner. There are 90 seconds of the 90 minutes remaining. And John Bond saying everything for Norwich in that expression. What do you have to do to beat Liverpool? He must be thinking. Play on. Here's Douglish. Here's Case. And Kevin Bond away. And Case allowed to go on and scores. Good decision by the referee, allowing him to continue. And we've come to the 89th minute, and now, for the first time in the afternoon, there is no doubt about which side is going to win. The expressions of the players on opposite sides, very telling. The son's face matching that of his father. Eight goals, some magnificent entertainment, but a very hard defeat for Norris to take. Further proof of what's becoming an old adage in football, you have never beaten Liverpool or even got a draw with them until the match is finally over. Fashionu, Reeves. Oh, what was Alan Kennedy doing? Clemens looked up at him and smiled. There's the hat trick man. Ray Kennedy. Hansen. McGuire. Is there to be a ninth? Padden. Reeves. Forced a bit wide. And the answer to my question is no. And eight goals is surely feast enough. Three of them from David Fairclough. In Liverpool's total of five, as against three by Norwich City. Really marvellous entertainment, which ends up with Norwich City's unbeaten home record being spoiled by the league champions. Certainly they look the more likely winners in the second half, but just as they seem to have won it through Fairclough's third goal of the afternoon, the brilliant effort by Fashionu tied it up. It looked then likely to be a draw, but it ends up as 5-3 to the team who play right to the last drop.
David, your first hat-trick in league football. You suddenly took your chance in David Johnson's place, didn't you? Yes, you got to at Liverpool. Uh, chances don't come by all that often, and uh, when they come, you've got to grab them with both hands. You know. Which goal gave you the greatest pleasure? The third, without a doubt. Why? Um, well, it's a highlight of my career. To get a, a hat-trick in Liverpool's first team in a league game is something I've dreamt about, you know, as a, from a small boy, you know. And you didn't have to come on as a substitute this time to do it? No, no, uh, I've had that reputation and uh, a few people will probably be amazed to know that I'm scoring goals when I'm on from the start of the game. But if David Johnson is fit for the League Cup semi-final second leg, where does that leave you again? Um, well, you've got to sort of show people that you're still around and you can still score goals and um, the boss maybe have, you know, might have a little bit of a problem. I hope so. Phil, have you got any puff left to talk? Nearly. It was a hell of a game, wasn't it? Fabulous game. It was obviously as enjoyable to play as it was to watch. It was, well, I don't know about playing. You know, we let three goals in, we're not really used to that. But uh, that third goal was an absolutely, one of, well, the best goal of the season for me. And at that stage, would you have settled for the point? Well, no, not really. We're always likely to score goals, especially with David Fairclough and Kenny Dalglish up front. Always likely to get a goal. And uh, there was chances going on both ends. But we had a bit of a talk in the first half and you know, after the first half. And uh, we let two goals in. We got a bit tighter. But, you know, you can't, you can't account for goals like Justin Fashion who scored. Justin, to score a goal like you scored and still to finish up on the losing side must be a bit rough. Yeah, it was a little rough. I don't think I've felt so bad since the Wolves game when we got knocked out there. But all credit to Liverpool. I've just been talking in the dressing room and they never believe in defeat or a point. They just keep coming and coming and coming and coming. And all credit to them, they scored another two goals, which put paid to my little bit of glory. Well, at least they're prepared to concede that it was, according to Phil Thompson, the best goal he's seen this season. That's nice of him. That's, I mean, that's all he gave me this evening, all this afternoon. Uh, very pleased with it. It's one of those where you do have a go and they'll either go over the crossbar or they go and hope, and luckily it went in today. Did you actually see how close Ray Clements got to it? Yeah, well, I was watching it all the way and I was going, oh, because uh, it did a few benders and turns and curls and everything. And I think he was going to get it and then it just curled away from him just a slight bit. But uh, I was very pleased with it. I take it it is the best goal you've scored? Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs>